Hello students, welcome to the gatelectures.com. So today we are going to start video series on uh, research methodology. Okay, so let's start. So the first question come arises, uh, why we are uh, study this research methodology? Okay, so let's see. From the initialization of your research idea and to the extreme end, the publication of paper in this whole journey, there are so many segments out there. Okay, different different segments are there. Uh, like first the idea will come, first the idea of research will come, then uh, literature review is there, then research uh, formulation of research paper is there, study design, conclusion of research, and the interpretation of your result and the publication of your paper. So these are some segments are there, and you have to know what are the functionalities of each and every part. Okay, so for that purpose, everyone should learn research methodology and it has paramount importance for all of us. Okay, so let's start. The first one is meaning of research. So basically the meaning of research is totally confined in the word like R-E-S-E-A-R-C-H. Okay, so research. So this is R. R is rational way of thinking. What is rational way of thinking? Rational of way of thinking is uh, with your experience, with your uh, opinions, with your facts, with your data, you will develop your rational way of thinking. And rational of and uh, this rational way of thinking gives you a sound conclusion. Okay. So this is the input and this is the output, the sound conclusion. Now the next one is E. E is expert and exhaustive. You should be a very uh, uh, thorough and complete. You should be a very expert in your uh, uh, knowledge. Now the next one is S. S is search for solution. For any problem, you find the solution. Now the next one is E. E is exactness. Very correct. Now the next one is A, analytical analysis of your adequate data. R is relationship to facts. Uh, you find uh, different different facts from your experience, from other people, opinions and all. And uh, in this you find the relationship between among them. Okay. Now the next one is C. C is the careful observation, critical um, careful recording or you can say the construct. You have a, a very constructive aptitude. In the whole research and the next one is H this is a honesty honesty is should be there in any kind of research okay so this is H now if we talk about in it in this very very simple words so what is research basically research is a scientific and systematic search for appropriate information on a specific topic you choose okay very simple now the next one is characteristics of research. We have different characteristics of research. So let's discuss all of them one by one. Now the first one is vision. So vision is, vision basically requires clear articulation of goal. Clear articulation of the goal. You should be very clear about your goal. Okay. Now the next one is methodical. Methodical. Methodical mean, uh, means you should follow a specific plan or processor in the research. So in the methodical follows a specific plan or processor. Now the next one is surgical. Uh, let's suppose you have a very big problem and you are not able to uh, solve big problem at once. So what will you do? Uh, uh, there is one solution is there. If you have a very big problem like this, you, uh, you have very big problem. Uh, you are divide this problem into sub sub problems. This is one sub problem, this is one sub problem, this is one sub problem, and this is one sub problem. So you first solve the, your sub problems, then you go back to your 
big problem so these are the sub problems and this is a big problem okay so in the surgical basically what you will do you divide your main problem your main problem into sub sub problems okay sub problems so it will be very easy for you na to first find out the sub problems uh, find out the sub problem solution then go back to the big problem okay now the next one is okay vision is complete methodical complete and the surgical is complete now the critical so in the critical uh, you have uh, you should be you know accept some critical assumptions in the whole research journey okay so critical requires critical requires precise judgment precise judgment and you have to accept a uh, certain kind of assumptions some certain kind of critical assumptions in the whole search okay next one is analytical what is analytical so in the analytical analytical processes in the gathering of data uh, whether it's it is a historical descriptive and anything okay so the, in the analytical you have to follow the analytical processes in gathering the data in gathering the data okay now the next is empirical okay so empirical empirical is a research is based on the direct experience or uh, your observation by researcher so this is the empirical part or you can say each step in the research each step in the research has been tested has been tested for accuracy for accuracy and it is based on it is based on real life real life experience okay so we have a uh, so in the empirical uh, this research basically is based on the direct experience or the observation by researcher okay now the next one is logical so in the logical you have to be very logical in the whole research journey so you should follow you should follow valid processes valid processes and principles okay now the next one is cyclical so what is what does it mean uh let's suppose you start your uh, research with some problem okay and uh, in the whole research journey you find the solution of your problem of the first problem and again you in this solution after the solution of this problem you find any any other problem okay so it is a cyclical process okay so the research in cyclical process research is cyclical process because because it starts with the problem with the problem and and with the problem okay so that some other researcher will going to solve it okay and you you also solve it but you find after the solution you find some other problem also in the research uh, process so now the next one is reliability reliability basically um, it's a research design and the processes uh, which enable the researcher to arrive at valid 
and a very conclusive result okay so uh, in short uh, you can write it uh, like to it um, it enable it in a uh, it enable to researcher enable the researcher it enable the researcher to arrive at to arrive at valid and conclusive result and conclusive result okay now the next one is validity validity and reliability are correlated but uh, you can say validity is more important than the reliability okay um, so what is validity validity basically the strength with which we call a research conclusion assumptions whether it is true or false okay uh, it's a strength validity basically it's a strength with which with which we call we call that assumptions whether the assumptions our assumption is true or false our conclusion is true or false like this okay so that's it about the characteristics of research and the next one is characteristics of researcher okay previously we studied about the characteristics of research now we study about the characteristics of researcher okay so um, think like uh, think like that you are the researcher okay so what are the qualities what are the characteristics do you have during the entire research uh, process so the first one is you should be very uh, research oriented so what does it mean the research oriented okay so um, the, if you are a researcher you should take take care of uh, deep thinking and inquiry about all the things and situations which i keep going around you okay and uh, what are the prudence so in the prudence um you should be very careful you should be very careful during conduct your research study and you should uh, conduct your study a uh, study at the right time and the right place wisely efficiently and economically okay now the next one is healthy criticism okay so if you criticize some other researcher research then it, the criticism uh, criticism should also very you know very healthy so the researcher always doubtful as to the truthfulness, uh, truthfulness of the result in the healthy criticism now the next one is creative creative so the uh, resourceful investigator always create new researches okay so you should be very creative and the next one is intellectual honest an intellectual uh, researcher is basically sh he should be very honest to collect and to gather the data in order to arrive at the honest result okay so these are the some characteristics the researcher uh, researcher should have okay that's it now the next one is classification of research so in the classification of research basically uh, we divide uh, the research into four research okay in the four uh, types so the first type is fundamental research second one is applied research sec third one is action research and the fourth one is as educational research and further we divide the educational research into different different parts like historical research second one is qualitative research third one is quantitative research and the fourth one is experimental research okay so let's discuss about them one by one okay and this uh, basically classification of research is very important in terms of your exam most of the questions comes arise from this area every year okay so be careful so the first classification of research is fundamental research okay so just write it down fundamental fundamental research so uh, we also call as pure research and the basic research so the first point is we also call as basic 
and the pure research why we call this uh, it is uh, like pure and basic research because it's a very initial research okay and the goal of the research is to find out the basic uh, truth or you can say basic principle about the research okay so in this research in this research the research <clears throat> the research is undertaken the research is undertaken for the sake of knowledge only for the sake of knowledge only okay without any without any without any intention to apply to apply it in practical okay so the basic goal uh, of this uh, fundamental research is to get out some basic truth about your whole problem and this research is under sake is undertaken for only the for the sake of knowledge okay you uh, your only uh, goal is to take the knowledge and uh, you are not uh, you know interested it to apply in, in your practical life okay so this type of research is carried out in laboratory so this is the important so this type of uh, research this type of research is carried out is carried out in laboratory what kind of uh, laboratory uh, psychological uh, laboratory okay and uh, we use different methods in this uh, fundamental research like sampling hypothesis uh, you can say testing so these are some methods we are using in this uh, laboratory so the next question arises uh, what is the use of fundamental research so the use of fundamental research is uh, in developing is in is in developing the theories okay or you can say uh, and principles and principles okay so in this in the fundamental research the researcher will come like a blank minded okay and uh, he started to gather the knowledge as much as he can through anywhere and uh, he do not have any intentions uh, to apply it in, in your practical life he just want to uh, take the knowledge and this type of research basically uh, is conducted in the laboratory just, just like we are uh, already discussed that in a psychological laboratory and uh, different methods we are using like sampling hypothesizing uh, testing and all and what is the usage of the fundamental researches uh, we use uh, this kind of research in the theories and to build up the principles okay that's it now the next one is applied research next one is applied research okay so after the fundamental research we come in the applied research so most of the characteristics of the applied research is found in the applied research so um, what is the functionality of the applied research and uh, one more thing i want to tell you that the applied research is very important most of the time questions arrive from this part applied research okay so um up in the applied research it utilize the principles made by fundamental research okay so applied research basically utilize utilizes the principles utilizes the principles that are made by 
that are made by fundamental research fundamental research um and uh, next one is next point is uh while using the uh, while using the principles which are defined by the fundamental research we are going to the uh, to find the best possible solutions we can okay so this type of research so this type of research this type of so this type of research involves finding of new application finding of new application of scientific knowledge of scientific knowledge to the solution of a problem to the solution of a problem okay so we utilize the principles which are made by the fundamental research to know the problem with best possible manner and uh, after that uh, we uh, with this type of research we involve the finding of new applications uh, of scientific knowledge to get the solutions of a problem and uh, we solve the practical problems of modern world rather than you know uh, just uh take the uh, knowledge only okay so we solve the uh, practical problems in the life like in the fundamental research we are only uh, taking the knowledge we are not applying it into a practical life but in the applied research the name only suggests that applied we applied our research in the practical world okay so the example of the applied research is like educational research educational research or uh, the next example is like uh, marketing marketing research marketing research so the main point is um, we applied this research in the apply this research in the practical problems unlike the fundamental research so that's it about the applied research and uh, one more uh, research is there which is related to the applied research okay so let's discuss it here only uh, the research is evaluation research most of the time questions come from this area also uh, what is evaluation uh, research or you can say evaluation study okay so what is evaluation study so this is a type of applied research or uh, type of uh, this is a uh, this study is a type of applied research this study is a type of applied research and uh, basically in this uh, we are you know to take the effectiveness of social or in the economic programs okay we are taking the stock to know the effectiveness of your social and economic programs like take the uh, one example like family planning scheme okay so in that case we evaluate and we study the whole data uh, from your uh, you know city and from your particular area so in that kind of uh, research you are using the evaluation study so example like family planning scheme family planning scheme and it's a type of a applied research because you are applying your you, you know you, in the real life you are applying your research so it's a part of the it's a type of a eva evaluation study okay so the next one is uh, we already studied fundamental research then we studied applied research in in the applied research we studied evaluation study which is a type of a applied research now the next one is action research next one is action research 
as a name suggests that we take some action in this research okay so what kind of actions we uh, take and from where uh, where we are taking the uh, actions okay so so many questions are there so in this research and uh, the aim of this research the aim of this research is to solve an immediate an immediate application an immediate application and uh, in this uh, we are not de developed any uh, theory in this research in this research in this research we are not going to we are not going to uh developed any theory now the next point is if the researcher finds if the researcher if the researcher finds any problem any problem at his uh, his or her field or uh, in the investigation or in the investigation researcher applies researcher applies action research okay so um let's suppose you are working in in a specified field and you get uh, uh, you get into some problem okay and you want some immediate action that immediate action is applied by the action research okay action research is basically is not used for the develop any theory it's useful to solve the immediate applications which is faced by the some researchers finding in their particular area okay so this is the action research now the next one is educational research educational research in the educational research uh, uh, we have studied previously see in the uh, we have studied fundamental research applied research action research and now we are studying educational research okay and in the educational research we classified the educational research in two four parts first one is historical research second one is qualitative research third one is quantitative research and the fourth one is experimental research okay so let's take some brief knowledge about the educational research then we'll come to the historical research okay so what is educational research so in the educational research basically it uh, directed towards the development of science of behavior in educational situations okay so uh, as we have studied that we classified further the education is in different parts the first part is historical historical research right historical research so what is historical research okay so historical research as a name suggests uh, it talks about past events right it talks about past and in this uh, historical research we need investigations we need recordings we need analyzing of data we need interpreting the results of past for the purpose of discovery okay so in this uh, we need the whole combination of investigation recording analysis and interpreting of res of uh, results for past for the purpose of uh, research or you can say discovery okay now the next one is next one is qualitative descriptive research and the uh, quantitative descriptive research okay so before going uh, to the uh, quantitative and qualitative descriptive research let's talk about the descriptive descriptive study so in exams most of the times you find uh, that uh, 
the name is ex post fact research okay so uh, in the descriptive study uh, in social science and in the business research we oftenly used the term is ex post fact research okay so this is the descriptive study in uh, the business research and in social science we basically use this term ex post fact research this is important most of the time uh, questions also come from this area also so in the descriptive study a researcher basically has no control over the variables and the reason is because he makes this uh, study on the basis of uh, the research which already exists so what he is doing in this descriptive study he can only report he or she or uh, you can say the researcher the researcher uh, only report researcher only report what has happened what has happened or what is happening or what is happening and the methods we use in the descriptive study is surveys so surveys is the method we used in the descriptive study okay now the next one is a uh, diagnostic okay let's use different pen uh, next one is diagnostic diagnostic study so what is diagnostic study basically diagnostic study is a kind of similar with uh, to descriptive study okay it's a kind of similar to similar to descriptive study and uh, you can say but with different uh, focus but it is it is dissimilar with different focus but dissimilar dissimilar with different focus okay so what is a different focus we are using the diagnostic study which are we are not using in the descriptive study the different uh, um, focuses listen very carefully it is what uh, the question is why is it happen okay and the second question is the second question is what can be done about it what can be done about it okay so these are the two questions we are giving the solutions in this diagnostic study so the first question is why is it happen in the descriptive study the questions are like what has happened and what is happening nowadays okay and in the diagnostic study these questions are also there what has happened and what is happening but after that some more questions are also arise like why is it happen and what can be done about it it means that it aims at identify cause of the problem and gives possible solutions as much as it can okay so why is it happen and what can be done about it so basically this problem diagnostic study uh, wait a minute so the uh, diagnostic study will gives you the aim at identify the cause of the problem and give the possible solution right now the next one is quantitative descriptive research and the qualitative descriptive research okay so the first one uh, the first difference is between the quantitative and the qualitative okay the first one is the quantitative basically assume the world is sustainable okay it assume the world is sustainable it means that we can measure the data in this whole world okay and uh, opposite in the uh, qualitative descriptive research is it assume that world world is unstable it means the idea of one people 
uh, will be different from the another okay uh, first thing you have to write is in in this uh, quantitative uh, descriptive research we um, analyze the data data statistically statistically analyze okay so this it is it is a phenomena that can be quantified and it works with the data collections with the numbers and uh, basically uh, this quantitative descriptive research mainly in the form of this quantitative research basically in the form of in the question answers form like questionnaire uh, like checklist like your surveys okay and that's the reason uh, we say that the uh, this is a quantitative descriptive research so the qualitative descriptive research basically used in used in behavioral behavioral science okay so uh, whose behavior uh, it going to research like human behavior right so in uh, so it basically in the form of this qualitative descriptive research in the form of interviews and uh, you can say observations observations and you can see that these two uh, like interviews and observations are not measurable okay like questions checklist surveys we can measure it and in the qualitative we cannot measure it we just analyze the behavior so in this we assume that the world we assume that world is unstable what does it mean it means that um, the qualitative descriptive research gives the theory that the idea of one people is different from one another so we cannot measure it and we uh, you know we going to research through the behavior of uh, different humans uh, we are taking the interviews we are uh, you know through the some observations we can doing our research in this way okay so this is the main difference between the quantitative descriptive research and the qualitative descriptive research now the next one is the last one is experimental research experimental research so what is the experimental research as the name suggests uh, it describes what will happen in the future if certain variables are carefully controlled and manipulated so this kind of research the future research will come under the experimental research and the one more uh, uh, research is there the name is exploratory exploratory research okay so what is the exploratory research exploratory research it is a, a preliminary study of an unfamiliar problem about which researcher has no knowledge or you can say little knowledge about that that problem okay so um, that kind of uh, research is exploratory research and its aims of development of hypothesis rather than testing so this is the exploratory research okay so that's it about the types of research uh, going back to the classification classification of research in the fundamental research these are the pure and the base basic research basically uh, in the, in this research our aim is to to get the knowledge as much as uh, we can we are not doing uh, we are not um, applied this kind of research into our practical life now the next one is applied research the name suggests that we are applying our research in the practical life okay and the next one is action research we want some kind of actions if we are doing some research in a particular field and we get some problem then in that case action research will do uh, their work next one is educational research Edu in educational research we classified into different parts like historical research we talk about the past uh, and uh, we you know interpret our past results to get new discoveries and all now the next one is qualitative uh, 
this qualitative uh, research basically assume that world is sustainable we can calculate we can measure the data okay so likewise we are doing our research through questions to through checklists through surveys now the next one is quantitative research quantitative research assume that the world is unstable we uh, different people has their different opinions so we are not to measure them uh, we analyze them through the interviews through the observations and all they quantitative research basically focus on the behavior study okay now the next one is experimental research this is very simple it describes what will happen in the future if certain variables are carefully controlled and manipulated so that's it okay so in the next is steps of research all the steps you are going through the entire research uh, process entire research journey so the first one is define research problem so in the in the define research problem uh, you are going to select the topic of your interest topic of your topic of your interest first the foremost and the first part is just select your uh, topic in which you want to research right now the second step is literature review literature review so go through the all the literature and find out the research gap like what are the difficulty they faced previous researcher faced and what are the researches which are pending okay so uh, you find out the which or uh, uh, research those are uh, research those are pending in past what are the difficulties they faced during their research time so all the literature review you are doing in the second step now the third one is hypothesis now in the hypothesis uh, hypothesis basically gives a tentative tentative solution of your problem tentative solution of your problem okay it's not a final a final solution it's just a tentative solutions um you can uh, let's take one example like uh, uh, there's one statement is that like uh, smoking is injurious to health right so uh firstly they are this is uh, this statement is a hypothesis okay and after testing this statement uh this uh you know uh, this whole line this uh, smoking injurious to health after testing it it becomes a statement okay so before the testing part it is a hypothesis and after testing it is a statement now the next one is research design now you design your uh, research work okay and uh, through the uh, with the help of some methodology in the methodology uh, you provide the research procedures and uh, through the research procedures you design your research design okay now the next one is data collection data in the data collection uh, data processing and data uh, is there like what kind of data you are using how do you collect your data how do you present your data how your uh, what are the ethics you are using in the collection of the data so all the things are included in this part so the next one is draw analysis so in the analysis part you correct the interpretation of your data and the next one is uh, conclusion in the conclusion part you're throwing off inferences or conclusion and in the conclusion you give the importance and the contributions and everything and the, in the last there is a prepare of the research report this is the last step step okay so most of the time questions uh, uh, comes in this area most of the time uh, okay and the questions like uh, they give your uh, these steps in a jumbled order and they give, they will ask you uh, write down the uh, proper order of the steps of your research okay so just remember all the steps one by one and their functionality okay